Hi guys. I'm going to read you guys a couple stories tonight. I'm going to make them shorter like I promised you guys I would. So it ain't going to be 25, 30 minutes. So I'm just going to read two or three little stories for you guys. Can't you stop there? I think, it's, I think it's working now. We'll try it and see. I am I'm talking right now. I'm in the process of making the video as we speak. You don't want to. You don't want to do do the video and then it not not work, honey. I'm um, sure. To... I'm doing the video right now. A man walking along a California bridge was deep in prayer. All of a sudden, he said out loud, "Lord, grant me one wish." Suddenly, the sky clouded above his head, and in a booming voice, the Lord said, "Because you have tried to be faithful to me in all ways, I will grant you one wish." The man said, build a bridge to Hawaii so I can drive over any time I want to. The Lord said, your request is very materialistic. Think of the logistics of that kind of undertaking. The supports required to reach the bottom of the Pacific, the concrete and the steel it would take. I can do it, but it is hard for me to justify your desires for worldly things. Take a little time and think of another wish. A wish you think would honor and glorify me. The man thought about it for a long time. Finally, he said, Lord, I wish that I could understand women. I want to know how they feel inside, what they are thinking when they give me the silent treatment, why they cry, and why they, and why they are mean when they say, why they mean, what do they mean when they say nothing, and how I can make a woman truly happy. After a few minutes, God said, uh, you want two or four lanes on that bridge? <laughs> and God wasn't even touching that one. He's like, uh, it's more simpler to uh, give you a bridge to Hawaii. Yeah. Nah, I'll give you a bridge. <laughs> Mischievous Brothers. Oh, I think we read this. Yeah, we read this one, guys. Where they thought God was missing and they think we did it. Um. Oh, my mouth is so dry. Some of my pills I've been taking, I don't know. Some of my medicine's horrible. I don't know what this is. It says can do. Program to team leader. We can't do this proposed project, cannot. It will involve a major design change, and no one in our team knows the design of this legacy system. And above that, nobody in our company knows that the language in which this application has been written. So even if somebody wants to work on it, they can't. If you ask my personal opinion, the company should never take these type of projects. Team leader to project manager. This project will involve a design change. Currently, we don't have any staff with experience in this type of work. Also, the language is unfamiliar to us, so we will have to arrange for some training if we take this project. In my personal opinion, we are not ready to take on a project of this nature. Project manager to first level manager. This is confusing. Is this story confusing to you? Yeah, me too. That's too much for me. That's too much for you guys? That's too much for me. Write it down. I was confused. An 80-year-old couple was worried because they kept forgetting things all the time. The doctor assured them there was nothing seriously wrong except old age and suggested they carry a notebook and write things down so they wouldn't forget. Several days later, the old man got up to go to the kitchen. His wife said, Dear, get me a bowl of ice cream while you're up. Okay, he said, and put some chocolate syrup on it and a few cherries too, she added. You'd better write all this down. I won't forget, he said. Twenty minutes later, he came back into the room and handed his wife a plate of scrambled eggs and bacon. She glared at him. Now I told you to write it down. I knew you'd forget. What did I forget? He asked. She
she replied, my toast. <laughs> they both forgot, guys. She forgot that she wanted ice cream, too. Well, that was good. That was cute. Sure would have liked that if he was in here. I think we read that one. Okay, this will be the last one I read, guys. I don't think we've read this one. Because, like I said, I promised you guys I wouldn't make the these videos that long. Domestic Bliss. One afternoon, a man came home from work to find total mayhem in his house. His three children were outside, still in their pajamas, playing in the mud with empty food boxes and wrappers strewn all over the front yard. The door of his wife's car was open, <laughs> as was the front door to the house. Proceeding to the entry, he found an even bigger mess. A lamp had been knocked over, and the throw rug was wadded against one wall in the front room and the TV was loudly blaring a cartoon channel and the family room was strewn with toys and various items of clothing. In the kitchen dishes filled the sink, breakfast food was spilled on the counter, dog food was spilled on the floor, a broken glass lay under the table and a small pile of sand was spread on the back door. He quickly headed up the stairs stepping over the toys and more piles of clothes looking for his wife. He was worried she may be ill and that something serious had happened. He found her lounging in the bedroom, still curled in bed in her pajamas, reading a novel. She looked at him, smiled, and asked how his day went. He looked at her bewildered and asked, What happened here today? She again smiled and answered, You know every day when you come home from work and ask me what in the world did I do today? Yes, was his incredulous reply. She answered, well, today I didn't do it. <laughs> they, they notice when you don't do it. That's a fact. They notice when you don't do it. But when you do it, nobody notices it. That is true. Oh, guys, you'll be so happy. This video was only seven minutes. It's under eight minutes. I'm so proud of myself. So I'm going to stop there with the stories for tonight. I could not sleep. I went to bed. Tried to get some sleep. Could not sleep again. So I got back up. My mouth is so dry. It's been this way for about two weeks. I don't know. I'm, I can't think of any new medicine that I'm taking different. I mean, they changed the makers of some of my medicine. It's a different manufacturer. Maybe you think, you know, maybe that could be it. I don't know. But my mouth and everything's just so dry. No matter how much I drink and stuff, it's just, just so dry. Oh, it's awful. I don't know. It's aggravating. But anyway, I love you guys. And I will see you guys later with um, the, um, well, I guess it is officially tomorrow. But I'll see you guys later on today with the Bible verse for the for today. And I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. I'll see you guys all later. God bless. Bye, guys.